Hello, my friends. In this modeling project, I am building a diorama of an army of the dead. I am going to build a graveyard that the zombies will be bursting out of it with these figures that I have. Let's check them out. As you can see their colors and their quality isn't that good so I will try to fix them. Great primer. Black painting the suit. White painting. Painting with red. The shoes are getting the brown treatment. Skin painting.
bloody details. Rotten teeth painting with some brown, black and white. Flesh washing the bloody areas as well as some skin ones. Little bit of black washing. Painting with blue. Green painting. Painting the skin. If it is red, it is dead. Flesh washing. The zombies are dead. I mean ready. Styrofoam 30 by 25 by 5 centimeters. I will divide it in three rows and four columns. This is going to be the basis of the graveyard. Digging a few graves around the guidelines.
I bend my phone cutter in order to flatten the insides of the graves as much as possible. Repeating the process. This time using the cutter to flatten the insides of the graves. The graves digging is done. Let's fill them. Sterilize sand, fine sand, gloss medium, PVA glue, brown color, water and mixing. some old brown sawdust and mixing some more. The soil is ready. Spreading. One grave will be left open hence the spread in it, leaving it to dry. Using these blue styrofoam pieces of about 1 cm to create crosses and tombstones. I will cut them in sections of about 4 cm. Before cutting them, using this metal brush to give them a rough texture. Cutting. Using this little plastic cup to draw the curves of the tombstones.
cutting with the foam cutter. With the cutter further shaping the tombstones to give the illusion of aging and zombie wear. Engraving using a pen and some pressure, texts like RIP, names, etc. Like before, metal brushing for extra shaping and texturing. Attention! Always wear a mask so you will not breath in these kind of particles. These leftover stripes I will cut in 5 cm parts that I will use for the base of tombstones. Cutting. With the cutter and metal brush, shaping these parts to give the illusion of aging and zombie wear. Wood gluing instead of PVA for faster adherence. leaving them to dry. Repeating the process for the crosses.
cutting. Texturing Accidents can and will happen. Have no fear, the glue is here. Black painting diluted with some water. After they are dry, dark gray dry washing. Second dry washing but lighter gray this time. heavily diluted black washing.
white dry washing after they are dry. PVA gluing the tombstones. Placing a cross that will be falling over. A nameless tombstone for the empty grave. PVA gluing the rest. Here I will place a small tree. Placing few zombies inside the graves and filling the graves with blue styrofoam leftovers. Filling the rest of the grave with the same mix that I used for the soil earlier in the video. If needed we'll add more details later on. Letting it dry. We'll be placing this zombie like so. Same grave filling like the previous time. Repeating the process. Adding a drop of PVA glue in the small hole that I created to place the zombie like so. In this grave I grew the depth a little bit because supposedly this zombie already burst out and the ground already crumbled in. Filling. Letting it dry. Wandering zombie. P. 
PVA glue and notches 6 mm wild grass for the whole graveyard. Letting it dry. Placing some mud like so. This will give the illusion of zombies bursting out of their graves. We'll place some light green foliage here and there to enhance the illusion of a graveyard that doesn't receive the proper care for a long time. PVA gluing the green foliage. We'll create a shovel by super gluing these pieces of barbecue stick, plastic and toothpick. Let's do this. After they are dry, cocky brown painting the shaft. metallic painting the blade and we'll let it dry. Then we'll do a second coating. Brown washing and letting it dry.
Replacing the soil here for the illusion of the graves dirt pile that can be found in such cases. Attaching the shovel like so. With this balsa wood I will create a few small fences. Marking and cutting stripes of about 0.5 by 7 centimeters. Marking and cutting barbecue sticks of about 4 cm. Super gluing the first small fence parts but here and there they will be purposefully crooked damaged. The second fence will be imperfect too. Roughing up the fences with the cutter for added detail. Red painting. Black washing and letting them dry. Black painting. Drilled some holes and PVA gluing the fences.
At the base of the pickets I put some soil to cover the glue and or the holes and drilling a hole to place the tree that I told you earlier on. PVA gluing the tree. Dry forest herbs to cover the base of the tree. PVA glue spring and spreading few dry leaves here and there. Change of plans. I tried to check how the rest of the figures will look like by having them walk around and I didn't like it. So, I will take this zombie's arm off and place it on the ground here while giving the illusion of the zombie trying to burst out of the grave. Drilling a hole to place the zombie arm. Such a classic moment of zombie films. Surrounding the arm with mud is a necessary detail. Drilled a hole and attached the toothpick on zombie's foot and placing the zombie. Placing the second wandering zombie. Off camera I added few more dry leaves here and there. Hopefully you liked the project and you will enjoy the presentation.
hit the like, subscribe and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.